guys, it's Faith. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an ice cream cone out of just some craft things that you can buy from simple stores like Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, not Marshalls, Michaels, and oh, what was the other one? Joanne's. So let's get started. Sorry about the flashing light over here. Um, just ignore it. But the next step is you're going to want to get some water in the cup. Not too much because you don't want to waste water and you don't want to make it not colorful enough. And you're gonna want to add your food coloring in it. And you can, there's two ways you can do this part. You can either dip it in to get it all color on it, or you can pour it. I think just for like fun or purposes, I'm gonna try to pour it. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to dip it. So yeah, just dip it, twist it, let it go to one side so you can make sure to get the all around. And then once you think you have it good enough, you can. Oopsies. Kind of slippery. Pull it out. Okay, then you can get paper towels and just kind of dry around the outsides where you don't so want it. So it looks like voila. Now you don't have to stick holes in it. Mine just came like that because we stuck suckers in it and made a sucker okay that my cousin thought of. So then there's that. Now I'm going to show you how to turn it into an ice cream. You're going to want another foam ball, and first you're going to like roll it into the food covering. That then Spin it around. You could use like gloves for this. You don't get your hands messy or whatever, but I'm flying with my hands a little closer. Be careful when you pick it up, not to drip it anywhere and not to get the color off of it. When it's not extremely dripping anymore, get a paper towel, just kind of gently, I mean gently pat it on here, or roll it. If you don't do it gently, the color will start to come off. You just don't want it to yet, so yeah, like that. Then you're probably gonna want one of the large toothpicks and a sharp knife because you're gonna cut like some of the bottom off of this just so it's not too circle when you put it on top. Like that. And adjust it to the right size you think it's gonna be for the snow cone. Or for the ice and cream. If cream. you want, this is totally optional. If you have a red dum dum sucker or pink, whatever color you want, you can just stick it inside of this and it will make it look like a cherry. The cherry was my sister's idea. One of my sister's ideas, if you wanted to, um, you could add some sprinkles on top. Or my idea, I just thought of you could add some glitter on top and make it look even cooler. But we don't have glitter, so I'm just going to add some sprinkles on top of this. This is totally optional as well. This is just kind of decorating. Like that. And this is how mine turned out. The finished product. This is how my sister's turned out um, without cutting the circular part off at the bottom and with out using a big tooth. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like this video for more videos of like creative crafts and stuff. And I was just sitting around and then I saw those that we were done eating the suckers out of them, or most of them. And then I saw that we could make something else out of it and that's what came to my mind. So thanks for watching. Bye.